Hi, everyone, and welcome to the PEGX podcast. We cover a wide range of topics in these podcasts, including environmental issues, technology tips to help you grow your business, and tips to help you keep out of trouble with the EPA, DOT, OSHA, and others. My name is Michael Bryant. Today, we're talking about chemical waste and how, instead of disposing of it, you can recycle it. We usually think about recycling chemical waste for its benefits to our environment, and that's good. But another, less obvious advantage is that we can save your company a lot of money. For example, let's talk about spent solvents like acetones, chlorides, lacquer thinners, and other industrial solvents. These chemicals can be recycled and reprocessed to turn a big percentage of their bulk into reusable product, typically as much as 80%. In a typical case, these less expensive recycled and reprocessed solvents are returned to your facility for use together with the more expensive virgin solvents you've been using. Doing that, you reduce your need for virgin solvents by as much as 80%. That, of course, takes a big chunk out of your input costs. But it also puts an axe to your disposal and regulatory costs, even though you might be spending a bit more on, quote, hazardous waste management, unquote. More on that later. Meanwhile, here's another way to look at it. If you're a large quantity generator, or LQG as we say in the biz, disposing of, let's say, a million gallons of used up industrial solvent per month, recycling that waste so that you can reuse 80% of it will slash your hazardous waste stream to only 200,000 gallons. And since those recycled chemicals don't wind up in your waste stream, they're not counted against your generator status. So we're not talking small potatoes here. And there are huge side benefits to recycling your chemical wastes. Maybe the biggest is that if your hazardous waste generation numbers are dramatically going down rather than steadily creeping up, you're less likely to attract negative, uh, read expensive, attention from the EPA or state and local agencies. And when you think about it, if your company is growing and you're not recycling, then your waste stream probably is creeping up. Talk about mixed blessings. There's also the public relations dividend. A well-executed chemical recycling program is good for your company's external brand image. That's no small thing in today's hyper-eco-sensitive political and legal environment. But there's also your internal culture. Your people are just going to feel better about working for a company that's self-consciously eco-aware. And a good morale is known to increase productivity and decrease turnover. Just ask the folks in HR. So how do we get started? It's easy. Actually, you can be recycling your used up industrial solvents in about 30 days from today. Basically, a technician will take a sample of your spent solvent and perform a gas chromatology test to determine what chemicals are in it, its moisture content, what unwanted solids are floating around in the stuff, and other waste quote unquote characteristics. If your waste is found to be okay for recycling, a pilot distillation will be done to determine the likely strength and yield of the recycled product. If you like what you see, a 40-drum trial run will typically be conducted. We're talking about the usual 55-gallon drum. Now you might ask, if I have no need for the recycled product, why should I recycle it? Well, environmental and brand image considerations notwithstanding, we can sum it up in three words to make money. In the relative rare cases where recycled solvents cannot be reused, there are hazardous waste management companies that can broker the recovered product for you. In other words, you sell the stuff to someone who can use it and apply the profits right to your bottom line. That's good business and good environmentalism. Say that three times fast. Now, based on your experience, here's a word of caution. Whether you are managing up or managing down, we found that your very best hazardous waste managers, armed with the best of intentions, can inadvertently get in the way of putting together a cost-saving recycling program. Here's how it happens. If they're rewarded solely for keeping disposal costs as low as possible, without regard for how much money you're spending for virgin inputs, then they're logically going to cast a wary eye toward anything that's going to increase costs in their area of responsibility. After all, that's how they've earned kudos and raises in the past, right? 
For this reason, discussions about chemical recycling should include stakeholders across all of your departments, stressing its comprehensive benefits so that everyone appreciates its potential contribution to your corporate bottom line and their individual bonuses. In sum, just about any enterprise that routinely uses large amounts of industrial solvents can benefit from a well-executed chemical recycling program. To find out whether your company can achieve significant comprehensive savings by implementing a chemical solvent recycling program and learn the best and most efficient ways to get it done, contact PEGX today. You can find us on the World Wide Internet at pegx.com. Thanks for listening. We hope you found the information useful And if you have an idea for a topic you'd like for us to cover, drop us a line at podcasts at pegx.com. Thanks.